Using the command pattern provides a number of really useful benefits to your application. What I want to show you in this video is the impact it has on your unit testing. I've already described that commands are little bits of reusable functionality and they do very focused things and therefore they're easy to unit test. So if I take a look here, now I've not uh, been, a, been a good programmer and created tests for every single task in my application, but you could envision that in, in a typical application, you would want to focus a lot of your testing efforts on on writing tests against your commands. That's where a lot of the functionality resides in your application. So I did create some examples here just to illustrate how easy. If, if I go into the, the tests folder specifically for the app module, there's really one task in that module. And if I create it, uh, click on it and look at it here, Again, I'm using Kiwi as my testing framework, and that's the subject of another video series, so I'm not going to go into detail here. But it says here, with a query task, and when I actually create my task right here, I create it with a mock content resolver. Um, and then here are my tests. I have really just three tests. It should invoke the query through the content resolver. So if I execute the command and I run it, then uh, right here, then it should uh, send this message to the content resolver. And then the next test is it should invoke the query passing a projection, a selection, some selection args, a group by, a having, and a sort. So that's a bit beyond the scope of what this this falls into another video series as well, but it, it tests that it invokes the query passing certain arguments. And then here's another one, it should return a promise. So let's look at some more tests here against commands in the Data Dragon module. Again, I just wrote one. Here is an example of a, of a test against a query realms task. Again, I create the task itself. This is the real task and it's initialized with a mock database and then here when the query is run it should invoke a count query against the database to get the result set row count and it should also return a promise whose result set or whose result contains the correct result set row count. So um, here's another test against a clear local data dragon data task and this this is a, a command that is run when I want to clear all the data from my local device that includes all cached images and then data from the three tables that comprise my app the three tables are the realm table the champion table and the champion skin table so here's a here's a test and it it really has very little to test because the command does one thing. It, and so your tests are relatively small. It's easy to verify the behavior of each command and you should have no excuse not to write unit tests against every single command in your application.